part two of the teachings for the new golden age by beloved ascended master Kuthumi, preparing teachers for the golden age. Obedience to God's will. Obedience to God's will requires discrimination upon the part of the chila. This quality is often lacking in the student and we, the brothers and sisters of the golden robe, are so willing to help any earnest chila develop this God quality of spiritual discrimination and discernment. Discrimination is not to be confused with logic, which is purely an activity of the lower mind. True discrimination is a God gift which enables the chila to recognize the truth and act upon it. Often, well-meaning teachers upon the earth impose foolish disciplines upon their earnest followers and the hope in the hearts of such chilas, coupled with innumerable fears and doubts, cause them to follow such disciplines in an endeavour to find godliness. Think for a moment of the exquisite freedom your own I Am Presence and Holy Christ Self have given you to use life throughout the ages. Measure your present condition of mind, body and affairs against your use of free will in the past and present. And then honestly accept the truth that any distress or discord results only from your own personal abuse of such freedom and your own free will choice to disobey the law of love. Any disciplines that raise your consciousness and the energies of your four lower bodies into a vibratory action of harmony, peace and love are of God. Any disciplines that merely repress untransmuted feelings and cause frustrations of mind, body and soul have little efficacy in your spiritual advancement. The chila must want to do God's will and be discerning enough to know what the disciplines offered are now doing and will do in the future to raise his personal energies before he really begins the upward climb out of disharmony into peace, out of limitation into opulent supply, out of disease into health, and finally, out of Earth's evolutions into his ascension in the light. Thus did we, each member of the Great White Brotherhood, attain our freedom and thus will you. Every morning, think about the nature of your presence, the feeling of your presence, the power of your presence, the mastery of your presence. Contemplate it quietly for a few moments. Then will you please go further and try to be that presence. That is what I ask of the life streams who desire to serve us. If you will begin the active embodiment of the nature of your Holy Christ Self, you will find that the change in the vibratory action of your inner bodies will be so comfortable that you will want to increase the time you are engaged in this service of discipline in the name of your Kathumi. I love you more than you can know. I love you enough to challenge you to take on the nature of God right now and to accept in your feelings the power that is within it. If you do it, then I will have a mighty legion of shepherds to send forth as people looking at this embodied nature in you will desire to become like you. 
I thank you for your love of the light. I thank you for your comprehension of my words and my feelings. I trust you will remember Kuthumi in your daily activities. <laughs>